Hello. Hello! Welcome to Explore Home Repeat, my name's Matt. And I'm Izzy. And today we're at the world of Beatrix Potter in Bowness on Windermere. Obviously, if you come to the Lake District, Beatrix Potter is a huge thing. You can go to her house where she wrote all of the stories. But this place is kind of a interactive um, kids, I guess. kids kind of museum where you can kind of explore the world of Beatrix Potter and all the characters there. As always, we're here to find out what it's like if you should go and if it's worth the ticket price. While you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. We do day out reviews all across the UK and give you ideas for your next family day out. So, ready to go? Let's go. So we're just coming into the main entrance. This really beautiful centenary clock. I love the lighting and this little kind of shop window they've got here. When you walk in, they've got this kind of little cinema experience first, just to kind of introduce the characters and what it was all about. Wow. I mean, it's so well done. It's like being in the books. Isn't yeah, it really is like being in the books. These foxgloves, beautifully kind of modelled, yeah. And then you've got like a little paper scene down here from one of the books. So it's a little Jemima puddle duck scene, again, all modelled in paper. Beautifully done. So I'm no expert, but I guess this is Jemima Puddle Duck. And then there's all these little Jemima Puddle Ducks flying over our heads. I have to say, first impressions, it's really well done. Again, like loads of things we enjoy, it's really atmospheric and immersive. There isn't a single kind of straight wall. It's all done like caverns and little houses. Really clever. Yeah, it's really like immersive as you said and you're in the books they're trying to yeah. make you be part of this world and it's very good this, so this is sort of i know it's only initial impressions but it's way better than i thought it was going to be <laughs> you know so we're just going into the peter rabbit garden so halfway round as you walk round, and it's designed by a chelsea gold medal winning garden designer oh it is really pretty oh, out here so cute, even though it? it's kind of still oh. early-ish in sort of springtime there's still a lot of flowers out A recreation of Hilltop but I feel so immersed in it I feel like I'm living yeah. a bit of childhood and Hilltop is Beatrix Potter's yes. original house that she bought in the Lake District yes. so you can go and visit that it's a national trust place but again the things like that spade in the in the background yeah. that features I'm sure in one of the kind of books, books I'm and, sure all of these things see Peter's jacket when the farmer I think puts it on there I think you could very easily just carry on along the tour and miss the garden, but make sure you check it out, even no matter what time of year, I think it would be really pretty. Right, on with the tour. We're just walking down into the, almost like this cave kind of thing, and I think it's Mrs. Tiggywinkle. Yeah, it's her little house, and Lucy's come to visit. <laughs> if you've got little kids, particularly if they like these books, they are going to absolutely love this. It is just brilliant it's so well done you just think you're in the books of Beatrix Potter it's, I'm so impressed I really wasn't expecting much at all from this place and it's just brilliant all the music as well in the background is great and now we're going into an area that seems to be about Beatrix Potter her history and everything she achieved the kind of buying a load of land in the uh, in the Lake District and giving it to the National Trust Whilst the adults are kind of reading all this kind of historical information and learning about Beatrix Potter, there's a load of games here for kids to play whilst you're doing it. So again, they really thought about the fact this is for adults and for kids. So that's our trip to the world of Beatrix Potter over. What did you think? It was actually really good. I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. Maybe it's because it was quieter. Yeah. Uh, and we got the full experience and we actually just stood and looked and admired at everything. So, yeah, I, I was really impressed. I wasn't expecting anything at all. <laughs> I, I was really expecting kind of some, a bit of a tourist trap, really, kind of cashing in on the whole Beatrix Potter thing. It was really well done. A really good little kind of hour or two, probably couldn't spend any more time than that 
cafe was small with a, a half decent selection so if you can combine it with a spot of lunch I think you've got a really good little afternoon out there it was just properly sort of quintessential English kind of day out I think if you can avoid kind of weekends or bank holidays when I bet it is absolutely rammed and try and go kind of like we did midweek in the afternoon it was really really quiet we were the only people in the cafe um, really highly recommend that place and for the price I think it's an absolute bargain really good in sort of a touristy town like Bowness I think that's a really good couple of hours so I hope you enjoyed that video we're off home now don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye